where do you fit in in the landscape of Hollywood? Not only as a black woman, as a black actress, but as a director, as a producer, as a content creator, where do you feel like you fit in? That is such an incredible question. Um, I think it's something that I struggle with every day. I think so many people do, no matter what industry you're in, you wonder how you fit in, how you should fit in moving forward, um, how you can adapt and change to make sure you continue to fit in. Um, I've been doing it since I was a child. I have a white mother. Um, I was born in a very white place, but I like this. Um, I'm very proud of my my uh, black history, my Cherokee history, but I still am who I am, you know. And I'm, so yes, I, I struggle with figuring that out all the time. And Hollywood certainly doesn't make it easy, um, but they don't make it so much harder than any other industry. I mean, we all have to have new perspectives. Um, have great attitudes about it and just keep moving forward because the truth is I have more opportunities today than I had two years ago, five years ago, ten years ago um, and I hope that I have many more in the future and I hope that it isn't crazy to think that maybe I could be a director in Hollywood, not just independence um, someday. I don't think it's crazy to think that I could be the lead of a show not being quite black enough not being white. Um, I think America is ready for these things and we just have to keep um, pushing forward and keep trying to change the landscape but also not get frustrated with it because everybody is trying and, and it is moving forward. It's just maybe not the pace that we all wish. Right, we gotta dare to dream and we gotta be yeah. bold. So talking about that. Love that. What's the boldest thing you've done in your career? Something that reaffirms your path? You know, this might seem like a really generic, silly answer, but the truth is, it's just a fact. The boldest thing I've done is to dream that I could be a as a little poor girl from Colorado who had no one in her family who did anything but get PhDs and, you know, become teachers. I said, I want to do something different and I'm not scared. And I think I can do it. Um, and I moved out here with, you know, zero dollars, just the support and love of family. And I, I did it, you know, whether I win an Academy Award someday or whether this is sort of the pinnacle of my career, I still did it. And I'm very proud of that. And I have to remind myself every day that it was a really bold choice and it was the right choice for me. So what's the boldest thing you will do this year exactly? Again, it might sound silly, but the boldest thing that I promised myself I would do is not get discouraged, keep pushing forward, not shelf any of my dreams as far as scripts or my idea that I'm going to create a pilot or that I'm going to star in whatever it is, to not even question it, to believe it, believe it will happen, and go after it every day the way that I did when I was a kid, getting on the bus, going to that audition with no fear. That's what I'm going to do for 2018. And finally, where can people reach you? Shanti Lowry, um, S-H-A-N-T-I-L-O-W-R-Y. Twitter, Facebook, um, Instagram, mostly Instagram. Hit me up. Yeah, this is our interview with Shanti Lowry, the actress, uh, um, producer, director. Awesome, check out our interview, youngboldmaple.com, page, Pinterest, Tumblr, Snapchat, all wow. that. See you guys later. So much more than me.